In June 2025, Figure AI made a bold and highly publicized announcement that could signal a paradigm shift in humanoid robotics. Their flagship robot, Figure 02, completed a 20-hour continuous shift on BMW's X3 production line at the company's sprawling manufacturing plant in Spartanburg, South Carolina. According to Figure CEO Brett Adcock, this marks the first known instance of a humanoid robot working back-to-back -back shifts in a real-world, high-intensity industrial environment. The announcement, posted via Adcock's X account, was accompanied by a time-lapse video showing the robot in action, methodically moving bodywork components from carts to jigs in preparation for welding. While the task itself appears simple, its execution over nearly a full day without interruption is unprecedented in the history of humanoid robotics. The Figure 02 robot's 20-hour operation followed weeks of 10-hour shift testing, according to Adcock. The robot's work during these long shifts has primarily involved routine, repetitive tasks, exactly the kind of labor robots are best suited for in industrial settings. Yet what makes this achievement particularly significant isn't just the task being performed, but the consistency, durability, and autonomy required to carry it out over such a long duration. Manufacturing environments are unpredictable and demanding, equipment failures, unexpected human movements, and process variations are the norm. That a humanoid robot could endure this and operate reliably suggests figure is closing in on a long-held dream, deploying autonomous robots into the fabric of everyday industry. This announcement also served as a strategic rebuttal to skepticism surrounding figure's real-world deployments. Earlier in the year, reports from Fortune and other outlets claimed the company's initial engagement with BMW was limited to a small-scale feasibility study. Figure AI strongly pushed back against that narrative, with Adcock going so far as to threaten legal action. Now, with video documentation of the 20-hour shift and confirmation that multi-hour deployments have been occurring for several weeks, the company appears determined to prove it's not running a demo, it's running a business. At the recent Bloomberg Tech Conference, Brett Adcock made a rare on-stage appearance where he addressed questions about the BMW partnership. While he didn't offer new details about the terms of the deployment, he did confirm that Figure has signed a second customer, widely speculated to be UPS. He declined to provide a live robot demo at the event, but emphasized that real-world industrial deployment is the company's core priority for 2025. This aligns with Figure's broader goal, transitioning from research and development to scaled, repeatable deployment in logistics, automotive, and other heavy labor industries. From a technical perspective, Figure 02 has come a long way in a short period. Earlier this year, the company unveiled a major walking upgrade, enabling the robot to move with natural, human-like gait thanks to advanced AI and a unified neural network. That same neural network now powers all aspects of the robot's behavior, vision, planning, manipulation, and mobility, allowing it to learn directly from real-world feedback. The result is a humanoid system capable of generalizing from past experiences and operating without direct teleoperation. This architectural shift means the robot improves over time and adapts to new environments without requiring full reprogramming. The implications of humanoid robots performing 10 to 20 hour shifts autonomously in factories cannot be overstated. For decades, Robotics experts have debated the practicality of deploying humanoids in workspaces built for humans. Skeptics cited power limitations, fragility, and narrow task specialization as critical barriers. Figure's progress directly challenges those assumptions. If robots can reliably carry out multi-shift operations in high-throughput environments, then labor automation could scale to sectors that previously relied almost exclusively on human dexterity and endurance. Beyond manufacturing, this opens up potential applications in warehousing, shipping, construction, retail restocking, and even elder care, industries that depend on routine physical work in unstructured spaces. In the United States, Figure faces competition from several major players, each with its own vision for the humanoid future. Agility Robotics, based in Oregon, has been deploying its bipedal robot digit in pilot projects focused on warehouse tasks like tote picking and delivery. 
Digit is highly optimized for narrow tasks and logistics environments and has recently begun limited commercial operations in collaboration with Amazon. Boston Dynamics, long known for its acrobatic robots, retired the original Hydraulic Atlas and introduced a new Electric Atlas in early 2025. The new Atlas has a much more practical form factor, faster joint movements, and a fully electric powertrain, making it more suitable for industrial settings. Tesla's Optimus also remains a significant contender. While Tesla has been less transparent with deployment data, Optimus has shown rapid improvements in mobility and manipulation and is being trained through Tesla's simulation infrastructure, reportedly using the same AI stack that powers its self-driving cars. Globally, China is also entering the humanoid robotics race with significant momentum. UB Tech, one of the country's leading robotics companies, recently announced that its humanoid robots are working inside the Zika electric vehicle factory. According to local media and company statements, the robots are handling repetitive tasks in a production capacity, marking China's first large-scale humanoid deployment in an automotive assembly line. These developments demonstrate that the humanoid robot race is truly global, with the US and China vying to lead not only in AI but in its physical embodiment. With this backdrop of intense competition and global progress, Figure AI stands out for its focus on full autonomy and rapid deployment. While other companies focus on task-specific deployments or tightly controlled demos, Figure is positioning its humanoids as general-purpose laborists that can be dropped into existing workflows with minimal reprogramming. If the company continues to build on its current momentum, we could see a broad expansion of its robots into more BMW plants, logistics centers, and even fulfillment operations by the end of 2025. The key challenge will be scaling production and maintaining robot performance across a variety of tasks and environments. Figure's long-term vision seems clear. Humanoid robots that can work 24-7, continuously learning and improving, seamlessly integrating into human design spaces without needing those spaces to change. If the company can validate its claims with more third-party data and operational transparency, it may not only win contracts, it could set the pace for the entire industry. What we're witnessing now could be the inflection point for humanoid robotics. The 20-hour BMW shift isn't just a technical milestone, it's a statement of intent. After years of hype, prototypes, and simulations, Figure is putting robots on the factory floor and letting them work. The world is watching, and if Figure's robots can keep working like this, they won't just be part of the workforce, they'll reshape it.